<clears throat> Hello? Sorry. No. Can you hear me? Russian stuff. Alright. Um. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> I can um. hear myself. <laughs> what the heck? Bridge. Alright, um, let's see. If you just sync on or off, uh, I guess I have G Sync on my monitor. So I don't need this one. Peaceful Adam, local malfunction, Armageddon. I like this one. The harder, the better, huh? <laughs> I like the, the, the animation of the guy being slapped. The game place. is running fine. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. I thought the game would be like speech. Oh, we've got a good time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Well, <laughs> sorry. Sense is too much. Okay. Boom. <laughs> it's too slow. <laughs> One sec. One sec. That's better. Chilome City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. You mean the game? Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Is she an android? Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Ah, oh, yes please. Can I have it? Um sure thanks Nice Thanks Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree <laughs> That always cracks me up they're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. That AI wow, speaking to me kind of reminds me of Doom. It's like Bioshock. It's giving me Bioshock vibes. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you 0451. Move it. Move it. 0451. Whoa, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration! 
It's like a dream. It's like I'm in a dream. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechinov. I slept fine. I'm waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechinov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Yes, comrade. Hey, there's so many... There's so many... drones. You've been ordered to the laboratory, comrade major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Comrade Major. <gasps> so can we walk around? Oh, nice. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechinov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. I like how there's translations when you look at the signs. Oh, nice. AI. Hey, that bot's actually pretty no, good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. circuses anymore. Cars are old. Belviet, <clears throat> Cacdela. Yes, I am fine. Is that is that correct? Did I read that right? Ria. Oh my god, he's a she's a bot. It's creepy. Hello. Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Number three. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to Comrade improve Kalashnikov modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Ah, they're making a new AK. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. Lousy prick. Oh, you can crouch. Nice. 
Connect your thoughts. Connect your thoughts. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? Is it free? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. What's that over his That's head? That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. That's good. It, it's free, right? It's Absolutely. Free. Nice. Allow me to connect you. Okay. Um. All right then. All right then. I think this is a bad decision, but anyways, let's go. Can I choose color? No, not the. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. I see. I see. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you. Experimental glove. Okay. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Hey, there's people in the middle. I had my pollen retreatment yesterday, and I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. I think we have the same uniform. That's amazing. I'm getting polymerized today. Polymerized. Well, let's just take the picture of the way we are. Say cheese! Get ready for your group photo, comrades! Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, can we get the atom in the picture, and too? And the statue, as well. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldiers. Ma'am. Yeah, like this. Say cheese! Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. She's using you her eyes to take pictures. Attention, comrades. I'm terribly sorry, comrades, but all the tables have already been spurred. Please come back later. Art of the robot, a peaceful atom. Okay. Hey, what's over here? Maybe we'll find something. They shut down the whole robot idea. Who knows? The damn brown plague could have ended up differently. I know. All of those people they infected, including their own, they killed half the continent. It's giving me Bioshock vibes. Pigeons are communists as well. Did you know? <laughs> Have you been to the laboratory? They've even got an open air planetarium there. Ah, well, the wonders of science. I think I've managed to increase the efficiency. Help. Oh, nice. Free? Yum. I have another one. Nice. Free 
food. <laughs> what? I need to pay for this. Kitty Pampa! Guys are not falling over! Here's to the people's unity! Wow! Come on! 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 It looks so nice. It's just a few days until the new They're marching. Parade. Comrades, assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. War? A war? There was a war? Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I like the colors. The colors are nice. <laughs> slow down, son. Slow down. Giga Chen. <laughs> Let's see if they're more on um, science. I think they were they made a uh, very good AI. So you were a sturdy young man. I was just the village herbalist. I was just a lonely wolf, my little sorceress. I kept you safe from that was the year you gave me fascist plans. This isn't a memorial to the two of us, you know. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Maybe my, my mind got wiped. I got brain wiped. After the war. I think. I don't know. What do you mean, be too confident? <laughs> Nick. Hmm. They made the first AI neural network in facility 386. Mm, nice. 
Resman space flight, April 12. I think the Soviets were the first in this world. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out and touch them with my hand. Is this the galaxy? The Milky Way? Wow, science is amazing! Amazing! The polymers is incredible! Why do you guys have injectors? Hello. I'm reporting. For duty. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education what? you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, Damn. and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Just want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Mm. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade can... Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. So you could install knowledge into your brain and you could be a doctor right away what the heck yo this is dangerous they're gonna make a revolution the robots are gonna make a revolution with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system. Wow. Especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh my god. Um, all right. Demon, be gone. <laughs> I like the... For your information, loser, that's a loser highly sign. user friendly gesture. It was Loser. developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. I can see data. I can 
see the bots. General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov. And this is facility 38. Hello, welcome to your future. Welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that I will find to change the world as we know it. Just a look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of Europolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing report to the lobby of that collective two-point project. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And, finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The Neural Connector... So glad to see you're taking it easy, it will Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access call. Network it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. Vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Airplanes. Setchin off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. 
There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Hello, Hema. What's up? Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in one. every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. I just realized we're floating in the sky. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Uh, Were all nice. the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies.
is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. Amazing. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. What the hell is happening? You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Navigator of the Bosphorus facilities. Have the last day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. I... Oh! What the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing like normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Attention. This is an emergency communication. Welcome back. I haven't seen you for a while. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. I can swim here. Oh, nice. I've swum through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a freaking miracle of modern science. You weren't kidding. I didn't expect it. Wait, I'm hearing voices inside. A whole house. Can you hear that? There's voices.
Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Come on! Oh shit. He's one of those guys. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Oh damn. Oh, go fuck yourself! Oh, thanks, Gramps. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Granny Xena. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? What? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Huh? No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You don't need it. Right in my ass for two days now. Take that. Babushka Warrior, oh my god. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> Goddamn clusterfuck. He almost died and he smoked. Goddamn.
near someone. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, no, listen to me! Just turn the handle and open the door! This is a safe area. Saving data. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Oh, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain nice. a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Oh, you can hold them. Nice. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci fi times or something. It's like cyberpunk, but... Well... The cartridges? Okay. I'll use this. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to. You're not recording me and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm... Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Granny Zena to you, Sonny. 
but we aren't allowed to let you through, comrade. Uh, really, Zena? How is our authorization? Really? I was always an addict here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. You I see, there's that. Right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cool. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? down for F and just look around. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Full of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Those are bullets, I think.
Dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Sabotaged. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. Hey, so how am up? I supposed to open this um, door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Yo, that, that's so big. Ladies, <laughs> I met them at the the beginning of the game. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. 
You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Four. Great, now get up. I need your help. Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No. I don't want that! Ah. Oh, shit. God. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Now he is the guy. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. First boss. Let's go. that freaky thing on the door a lock are you serious then open it already come on we're in a hurry i'm unable to assist you i lack any kind of lock picking functionality you'll have to find your own method for picking locks i'm sure you're smart enough yeah right in other words you're basically useless as always try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on there we go easy it worked! <laughs> it looks like a Mickey Mouse face. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles! What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? Okay, you cool? More skills will become available to you soon. Okay. But choose shock for now. I like the music. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. This is stupid. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your ass. But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Saving data. Alright. Can we upgrade? We can craft weapons. Nice. I see. The music is so happy. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner.
What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s fall. Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> All of my orders, and are always polite. I but see. The black ones really walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. They say Monday begins on Saturday. But I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. 
and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or... Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. The 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Dead. Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Charles is nice. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Ah, I see. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Thanks for the tip. one I suggest the one on the right in other words you don't actually know in that case I'm taking the one on the left <laughs> yeah. 
I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. <laughs> nice. I can dash midair. Like this. Ninja. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have go. mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan! Hey, or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Their skill is better. The holding.
so it's kind of scary if you get cornered. Bring it a little again. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby <laughs> you don't say it's like i'm swimming inside someone's head this <laughs> there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code Station master. What a joke. Uh, what was that? Comrades. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. This is Icarus. They won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why are they frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Icaruses will be able to couple with one another to produce a full-blown airborne city with residential, industrial, and even agricultural zones. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic! The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? Station master has it. And the next is it make it? Is it as fast as me? He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Schematic? A glorious new era of Soviet urban development. Gotta find the station master. This is Just wish I knew where he is. The world's first autonomous area. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. Ah, I see. <laughs> Guys, one sec, I have a phone call.
Authorization. Major Nichayev. What will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Please select the desired procedure. Me, he's alive. Skip. Holy fuck, a talking corpse.
out. This is Icarus, the world's first autonomous aerial urban base. This enormous flying platform easily... Fading data. There it is. I need to find that piece of paper. Where the heck did it go? Oh, it's so dark! Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. Shit. 
You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We have to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system.
wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed cheese. Uh, and now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground, and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So they're top secret, and their armor is tougher than attacks. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. Sorry, I gotta run. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip. wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge.
took you so long. I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Like, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Remember that all experimental results are the physical and or intellectual property of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you? or tear you apart. You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. Be mindful of facility secrets and never discuss your work at home. Crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... Almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. I mean, I'm gonna rip something off. Damn it. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful, Miss. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any crap. That hurt! 
That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. I mean... Rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such an ups guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Why you save yourself? Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey! Freeze! Warning! Red right alert. Lockdown in progress.
good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. So, 
Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. 
I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? the desired procedure. the desired procedure. like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop and experimental materials leaked out that's actually good news.
do we have here? It's a blend. And everything there is so automated. We won't have to work at all pretty soon. We'll just sit there listening to music. Here's a peek. Robots can't appreciate it the way we do. This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. I like the music. <laughs> I've got one. It's so nos um uh, it's so nos uh what how, how do you pronounce that? Nostalgic. The place is so nostalgic. Major victory in its open ended space exploration mission. Manufactured by the Soviet 3026 Specialist, the Soviet spacecraft successfully landed in five lunar locations. These are deemed key to the future colonization of the Earth's satellite. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Hey, look. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat.
so you can hide. You hide the, the boxes. Hello, Asgore. Hey, what's up? Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Ah, oh, thanks. There it is. Where the hell is it? There you are, sugar! Oh, I missed you so much! Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes! Scold me! Punish me! I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I promise. I'd like to pull the plug on you. But it's too bad I can't do without your help. Oh, nice. New gun. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. It's a gun with the uh, electric. It's like a toy gun. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. Cringe. <laughs> I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. You are now observing the Luna Memorial, there we go. a symbol of the Soviet. 
Soviet lunar program, the USSR's first major victory in its Let's test this new gun that we have. This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. The seed bank is the treasure trove of the Vavilov complex, a collection that is enriched daily by both experimental samples and stockpiled seeds, seedlings, and pollen of terrestrial origin. During the war, Vavilov's Leningrad stockpile numbered 250,000 samples. Today, the they're trying to change the moon. Airform. Saving data. Access granted. Which is exactly the number of new samples the Babylon complex obtained annually. Authorization. Thanks for stopping by, Jeril. Uh, thanks for watching.
like a scanner and a night vision. 2 p.m. I need to. I haven't eaten my lunch yet. Good thing you asked. I'm gonna order some food. Some food, one sec. I'm hungry. Hey Crossby, welcome back. How was it? Did you enjoy the game? I'm ordering some some food to one sec. Ah, nice. <laughs> the game kind of reminds me of um, Bioshock. The gameplay. the game would be very unoptimized but then I think the game is running very very good Certainly, Crispy Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Container integrity compromised. Trying to repair. 
go nice it
god, that scared me. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, that actually <laughs> startled me, like jump scare. Fading data. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Pray to your tin god. Authorization, Major. Crispy Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this.
I see. Can lead this.
Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seat bank immediately. Seeds are plants. They are plants. The the seeds here. They're they're plants. Plants. Please select the desired procedure. No, uh, they use the seeds for for the moon. They're trying to terraform the moon and plant to plant some seeds over there. Select the desired person. Bazooka and AK 47s.
claim that. The, the mini boss. Second, guys, uh, my food arrived. I'm gonna grab my food. I'll be right back.
nice. He could use the zip line. Awesome. Do not interact with robots. Repeat. Avoid interacting with the complex's robotic. <laughs> Watch out! There we go. It's working. Thanks for watching, Hama. Thanks for stopping by.
I like this, with this luck. Will it be major? Weapons? There we go. Nice. Experimental data must be 
kept secure at all times. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Dead. According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. 
He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Major weapon. Um, let's see. Saving data. The door's locked. We won't be able to open it without power. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Huh. Ah, I remember. Is find one that, um, here.
those? Zombie. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. What the heck? Zombies. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Fading data. Hey Dom, what's up? So, hello guys. Zombie. <clears throat> Attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat. Attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. So you're really full. You're now. Ah yes, I have stores that open 24 hours.
because some people work at night and there are some stores that open 24 hours. I like your tactics, it's reverse psychology. <laughs> <coughs> huh? <coughs> Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Yeah. 
Remember that lab equipment is not party property. Damage is appropriated or handed in that equipment over to third parties constitutes a crime against the party and is punishable by law. Look like the zombie from Last of Us. Carry things. Ah, it's okay. Chad. Workout, yes I did with my workmates before COVID. I used to go with uh, with my workmates every after shift. He's making a tipus. Why you sons of bitches? Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. A 
Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> Are you good? Hey! Hey! Can you... Can you finish me off, please? What the... Just, just wait for a medic, okay? Should we kill him? Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <sighs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Those bots are like, who's, who's hitting us? Saving data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted.
think the canister might be. A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it. Someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. We've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the lights sort of went out of him. He 
had managed to say something right at the end. And it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. It kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be how the vaccinations fall. Dead people being so chatty. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He talked for days on end. Or comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. And he was young. All expired now. And still holding on to Don't you wonder why? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. But it's fascinating. Tell people about it if you make it out alive, okay? At least that way, the science will get something useful out of all this carnage. Oh, yeah. Anything for science, right? Well, not anything. If you're suggesting that I'm getting a little carried away. But if you get a chance... Okay. So long. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific.
died. Thirty-five? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. I'm just gonna zap this. This one. Nice. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm.
It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. Cable car go any faster. No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical question, Chuck. up the last motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Pleasant That's lights all right. around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic.
Hello. Zanes. Ah, nice, we're back here. Luminar polymer canister connected. What do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So... Why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? What's this? Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. There's 
dangerous plants. in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. They're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need to 
find a way to cool it off from the inside. Everybody can have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening. Ugh, what do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Gee, are you sure? Take that, Tinhead! Opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. 
Okay, second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective ah, research Mandis. that connected both humans and robots. <laughs> she must not be hurt. Thanks. Did I make myself clear, good Comrade luck. Major? I'll keep it in mind.
Mihailic, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Ah, I see. <laughs> ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. Hey, I can make it to the this. cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah, go on. I'll get you. I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg. I don't need nobody to bait me. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity. I want respect, damn it. I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. Some Neuromed. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. It's like a giant, what you call that thing that you spin around? Fidget toy. You know the fidget toy that you spin? Drifting, talk it drift. Can I ride? 
go. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Drifting, let's go. Try to track the the pole. I guess. Okay. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Will it be major?
that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and being a steel worker. Even for half shit. Okay. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack tough. Don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come whimpering to me, Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. <laughs> Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 nice. together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kinda cute. Remember that there we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Insects. I don't like this. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck, and snapped it, right here. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. This has got to be some kind of mistake. He's so Such calm. should have foreseen this. He's so calm. I'm sure of it. It's got to be a mistake. What else could it be? Yes. What a shame.
Kalashnikov, let's go. AK. Access granted. Stopping by, guys. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Chicken. Oh, now no. I've seen it all. Zombies. You see it? Over there? Go through. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the rescue team. Finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at your workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds, very quickly. Robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember was being dead. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals.
That's some neat fish you got in that aquarium. Chicken eating meat. Hey, what's this? Is it just me or are the guys at Pavlov just sending us junk? You're just not getting it. They've got different polymers over there with different characteristics. We go traits into polymers here, but over there they splice them in. Does that make sense? Don't get too smart, buddy. Or, well, let it see the non was total zest, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, crap. I keep turning my chirp around with my elbow by mistake. I have to get rid of that function in the next update.
Greetings, Valentin Demjanovic. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. To. What is it this time? You are leaving the laboratory. Before opening the door, please complete your experiment and save any data you have collected. Here we go again. What do I need to do? The lab terminal is on. The current state of the experiment should be displayed on the screen. to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. What the heck? Crazy. planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel.
talking to. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Supposed to do. The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn, and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club?
navigation system.
Authorization. Major Nick. Let's get the hell out of here. Please select the desired procedure. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Answer me hard and often. Oh, fuck.
authorized distribution of confidential data in order to report to social control immediately. <laughs>
hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. was especially I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder Shit, or we're screwed! Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking Come on, experiments. Let's blow that motherfucker up. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find.
please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. This is crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations... What? Down! Schnitzel! Bad dog! Ah, uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Honey, what's for dinner? Slime mold genes have become dominant. And Pesticide level decreased. Now, ten percent. Shoot. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Reduced. This, well, <clears throat> it explains how the plant feeds itself by grabbing food with its stems. Oh, shut up. Just a second. What? what are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs> This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here! Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed.
I wonder what that was. That place. Level decreased now at eight percent. Damn it. Remember that all employees are to refrain from discussing their work with family members and friends who are not complex employees. Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. He won't find us here and we should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. I hate to disappoint you, but... A mutant got you. So they did kill me. I thought they did. How very sad. Only when I died did I realize I had never taken life too seriously. You never miss the water till the well runs dry. Such is life. How symbolic. I should have plundered this earlier. Hey, Charles. If I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks. <laughs> Suspended electromagnetic platforms, control panels all over the shop. <laughs> Some system they got here. What fuckwad came up with all this shit? We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying.
suicide level decreased. Now at 4%. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Pesticide level decreased. Now at 2%. We're all going to die! Okay with me. You first. Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. I gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it. You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No. Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Yeah. I'm coming! Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific... ...it is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov.
to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Major, weapons, or... Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted.
So, what will it be, mate? all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. The PEC-4 birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Saving data.
Shit, Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Astrologers announced a week of Atomic Heart. The number of enemies has doubled. robot is delivering them from a nearby factory.
Um, I think that's it for me for there today. There are cameras everywhere. Um, Where do I'm they send the stuff they see? Information from the playing. security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. All right. Um, I think that's it for me. How for do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Hmm. Um, I think that's it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. The game kind of reminds me of Bioshock. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.